Hey y'all, what's up? What up? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> um, I hope everybody had a good day. And it is after work AP. We got so much stuff to talk about today. I'm excited. I'm real excited. It's I got some rest, stuff. so I feel kind of better. <laughs> I take them naps, you know what I'm saying? Um, so let's just get into it, y'all. I hope everyone had a great day and you got through that traffic. Let's go. First off, the rundown for the day. Rundown for the day. Today I had something funny happen. I always have something funny happen every day. I ain't even tell you about it yet. So I'm on my way home from work. My phone rings. I turn the, you know, I turn the phone on in the car. And it's a telemarketer. They're like, hi, is this my government name? Okay, Miss Parks. And I'm like, um, oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> and the lady was like, Hello? And I was like, Malash Law? And she was like, uh, uh, Miss Parks? And I was like, Malash Law, blah, blah. <laughs> and she was like, uh, um, um, and I said, I'm just messing with you. What you want? <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, ma'am. Oh my God. She was cracking up laughing. So, you know, sometimes you gotta mess with people. She ain't want nothing. Okay, next. That was my rundown for the day. You got mm -hmm. one? Nah, today was just busy. Yeah. All right. I didn't, we don't have an after work dinner tip today. Okay. So get it how you live. Right. All right. I ate some cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I had some sunflower seeds. Okay. Next, um, trending topics for the day or daily news. We have two. One is um, another Dominican fatality have been linked. Another one? Yeah, Damn. he actually, this happened to him a while a while ago, Jerome Jester, maybe a month or so ago or a little bit more than that, wow. but they're just now linking him with all of the rest. Mm. Um, he was from Georgia. He was just 31, and same thing with him, respiratory, upper respiratory. So that's really crazy. I don't understand what's going on in the Dominican Republic. They, they, clearly, they clearly don't want no Americans over there. Yeah. They clearly getting tired of us. That's crazy. That's so. that's what I came to the conclusion that they clearly they don't they clearly getting tired of us and I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you. We not going. I'm never gonna step foot in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Yeah. Um they hate us, it's sad. Or something. Somebody hate us. Um, okay. Next is the other daily news. I saw all the little social media shares that the face app that everyone's been doing to make your face look old is supposed sent by the Russians and now they have rights to all of our pictures. I don't know how real that is. Sometimes with these um, little news report things. I'm glad I didn't do it. I know. You was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting <laughs> no, that on my I'm phone. I'm not putting that shit on my phone. Fuck no. But sometimes with these news things, you don't even know if those real. They just It's just so much on social media. I just can't. All right, next, we are going to get into our two main topics for today. I'm excited. First main topic is, oh, let me go back, y'all. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you can get the notifications when we're recording and or when we've uploaded, uploaded a video, I should say. And if you want to follow us on IG, it's After Work AP. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, first topic. What do you guys think about dating your friend's ex? No bueno, Holmes. What do you think about that? And you know what? I've had this written down for us to cover the, this uh, for us to cover this topic tonight for a while. But it just so happens that recently uh, April Jones have come out with maybe like a little interview and she's talking about the her and little fizz and omarion situation so i thought that was really weird i just came across that today let's get this straight let's get it let's get, let's it, get this it. let's get this straight people are gonna do whatever they want to i'm gonna be honest with y'all i understand everybody lives by a code and you know the way things are done but realistically my folks gonna do what they want and you can't and you really I, I can't do nothing about it but I understand people rules. What you looking at me like that for? I understand people rules and all that. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to give you the honest answer. Yeah, people are going to do what they gonna want. I'm not going to give you what you want to hear. So, honestly speaking, people are going to do whatever they want. But it's not right. I'm not saying it's right. but Yeah, it's not. So, how I feel about it is, 
um, you shouldn't be doing what you want. You shouldn't be dating your friend X. Unless y'all really like sat down and that person was like, hey, please go ahead. That might be a little different. Maybe I give you some little leeway if that type of situation happens. But for the April Omarion and um, Lil Finn situation, I feel I feel both of them are wrong. Let's let's start with Lil Fizz, right? Like that's your brother. That's someone that you were in a band with. That's someone that you shared your feelings with. That's someone who watched you. Uh, start a relationship and have a child and you did the same for him how could you be with the woman that he was once a family with and has children with like it's so many more women out out here you shouldn't even have never put yourself in a situation to even get that close with her and for her i also feel like it's for ratings is it on a show it could be is it on a show um possibly Maybe they're going to cover that now on Love and Hip Hop. I'm not sure. Um, if I didn't I, know if it was on the show or not. If it was definitely on the show, then it probably for ratings. Yeah, but it, that could be. At they the same doing time, anything. that is real life, though. It is yeah. real life at the same time. Yeah. And, and for People her, doing that in real I'm life. not into bashing other women. I just feel like there is a code, and the code shouldn't be crossed. And you don't, you don't mess with the homies, man. You don't do that. They, they was bandmates. So you smashed two of the bandmates? Like, no. Like, find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And what people also have to try to do is don't get that close with your significant other friends. You know? At some point, they got a little bit too close. So I'm not with that at all. Because let's just say their situation doesn't work out. Now, both of y'all can never really go back. I mean, he always has to deal with her. That's the mother of his children. What? But he's never going to trust you. He'll never look at you the same. You have to really think about, is it worth throwing away a friendship? You know what I'm saying? That's not worth it to me. It's not worth it. But people don't value people the way they should. So that's my take on that. Mm -hmm. Next. Next, 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 next. We have, we're going to talk about all the issues with dating mating getting to know bent starting off a new relationship mm -hmm. mistakes all of that stuff y'all so please drop a comment below um if you have any questions drop a comment if you have any experiences let us know we're going to have callers calling in soon uh not tonight but drop us a comment or you can drop a comment on youth um, on instagram as well um there's so much to cover, cover. so let's get, get into that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, first things first. So, dating now, is, it's become so crazy in 2019. Um, How will we know? <sighs> well, from what I've read and what I've seen and friends, people, you know, that's going through different things, you know? So, um, actually, I saw a post. I saw a post, and I said I was going to share it today. And it had like five categories. Mm -hmm. And the first category was like, uh, we're talking. And then it had a definition. And it was like, we're talking, that means we go out on dates, we do stuff together, we sleep together, but we can sleep with other people and not question one another. That was talking. When you're talking? Yeah. Then it was, we um, are exclusive. This was, we have decided that we're pretty much taking this somewhere. And if we choose to talk to someone else, I think we will share that with one another. And then it was, we're in a committed relationship. That means you shouldn't be doing nothing. Ain't no sharing, ain't no nothing. And it, it was another one too. All right, quick question about the first mm -hmm. one. If you're mm -hmm. just talking, mm -hmm. do you have a problem with them talking to someone else if y'all just talking? Well, that's what the post was saying. It was saying that girls have that very confused. That once a girl, you know, sleeps with a guy, she just all of a sudden thinks she has a relationship and it's not that, right? I feel that this post was very true. I feel that women more, more specifically, need to be clear on where you stand with a man. You need to be clear. Um, I think we've all made that mistake. I know in my past, when I was much younger, I made the mistakes of not being clear. And then that's how you run into really bad problems, right? So 
if you and that guy are just hanging out and doing what you do and sleeping together and he has not made you his girlfriend, then you can't assume that he's just going to date you. And you can't get mad when he throw out there, oh, you know, I'm, I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm about to go on a date tomorrow with somebody because you haven't gotten that clarification, right? Um, that's very true for women. Um, another thing I will say, though, for the men, men, be honest and upfront with these women, okay? Like, I feel like it's so hard for a man to do that. I feel like there's a very think, small think, group of men that's that honest. Yeah. I only know also, one. Not very small, but, yeah, but also, they got to be very straightforward with the men, too. Yes. Don't be, you need to tell a dude, look, I'm only talking to you because I want you to buy me some food. I want it, you know, I want to go out for food. Be honest. You have to be honest with that. You have to be honest straightforward because... I just want to be taken out. You right. should say that. Right. And with the guy, I, I think men, what y'all need to know, I'm speaking for y'all right now, ladies. What y'all need to know is, if you tell a girl, look, I want to come and pick you up. I want to compliment you. I want us to go hang out or whatever. I want us to... Like, I'm feeling you or whatever, but I do not want a girlfriend right now. I'm not getting into a relationship. I just want to, I'll still make you feel good and do all of those things, but I still want to see other people, and I do not want a girlfriend. Right. I think if you make that so clear the way I just said it to a female, then you're cleared. If she start acting bad shit crazy, that's on her. Right. And also, she'll have the, the option to say, do I want to keep fucking with him or not? Don't be beating around the bush and sugar and shit like like the whole um let's let's see where we go when we working on us that's bullshit that's not being clear crystal clear is i don't want to settle down with you i just want to have fun with you be that clear you'll be surprised how some girls might be like i ain't gonna rock with you for a little while and you might lose some you know some girls might be like nah i ain't rocking with that but give that woman that much respect Stop acting like being around the bush is being honest because it's not. Ladies, drop a comment how you feel. Men, drop a comment how you feel. Right, because I kind of like this the same way around. Women say that more than men. Same way around. Women, if you know you just like want to go out on dates with this guy and get your little meals or whatever and date somebody else tomorrow. But then women say that more than guys. What? They say what? That they're trying to, um, I feel, that they're just trying to see where, see where it goes. That's because they have options. You gotta realize that when people give you an answer like that, you gotta realize that yeah, you ain't the only one. Both sides, but be on honest. Sides. Be on honesty is so rare. Everyone wants to you know run game. And one thing I'm gonna say to the women, you know, we have to be smarter. We have to be wiser. And do not hang around if you're if you're feeling the guy and you dating him and y'all been dating for a minute and he hasn't told you I want to take this to the next step. You know, you're mine. I just want you to be mine and me to be yours. If he hasn't done that and that's what you want, stop hanging around thinking, oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Instead, of giving him what you would give someone. You um, also need to mention that, though. If you don't mention it, then how are the person supposed to know? Yeah. Be open. It. Say say what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So he can't ever say, oh, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But if he wants the same thing then it's going to be obvious. You know, it's, that's going to get communicated to you. And if he doesn't, don't hang around forever. Because let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing about talking to somebody for a real long time. This I haven't lived this situation, but I watched somebody live this situation. You can hang, you could talk to somebody for like five to ten years, some people do, okay? Um, and it's, I'm not throwing no shots at people who waited ten years for someone to marry them. That's different. I wouldn't wait that long for somebody to marry me. But that's a different case if y'all actually got married. But if you're hanging around, hanging around for years and you haven't got married, nothing hasn't gone to the next level. I've seen girls do that and then that man turn around like in a year be engaged to a girl. And you're standing there shocked. Like what happened? Don't sit around and wait. Waste your time like that to watch this man move on with somebody else. If he hasn't pinned you down and five years you need to you need to let it go if you want more um because then you're gonna end up real mad and bitter and then start acting crazy so, so that's the limit five years <laughs> i mean now that's not the limit but you know i'm just saying some people 
be just talking to the same guy for a minute and it don't go nowhere. And then that guy end up with somebody that else. Time. That's a long ass time. I'd be damned. But hey, it happens. Um, and we've all made mistakes. Now we're going to get into, that's like the dating thing. Um, so everyone, be honest, be very clear. At our age, too, late 20s and mid 30s to, to, um, to 40s, you should be clear with what you want. So now we're going to move into a relationship when you really get into something. There's so many things that we all overlook um, while we're dating. And this is important for dating and when you start your relationship. Um, any tips? Let your spouse know everything up front. Be Don't up surprise front. us. The worst, thing is, the worst thing in a relationship is it's a surprise that you won't like. This is true. This is true. Because it creates that trust issue or just, you know. Yeah, because you're already in it. And when you... And when you when you have a... Uh, sorry. When you have a... Um, when when you're already in and then you get a, a left turn out of nowhere and you're like, what the fuck? You ain't supposed to tell me this in the beginning. Sometimes those surprises will make or break the women, relationship. Women can have surprises Especially if they're not... Right. I said both sides. I know. Oh, I oh okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So my thing, I got a whole bunch for y'all. Okay. This is 101 today. Um, one thing I would say is you need to really know. You know what I learned over the years? And I totally didn't have this back in my dating years. You need to know what do you require? What do you need for another individual to give you in a relationship? And me and my girlfriends had a really good talk about this. Do you need a lot of verbal and reassurance? The talk, the words. Do you need a lot of physical attention? You know what I'm saying? Like all of us have our little things that we need. So when you get into a relationship with someone or even dating, you need to be looking for, can they really give me these things that I need? And I'm not talking about money, but if you like to be um, talked to throughout the day, sometimes on your text messages, if you like a certain type of attention, you need to be looking at that other individual like, is he the type of person to do this? We so many times get involved with people who totally not going to give you those things that you that feed you, and then you end up getting mad at them, and y'all have a whole argument because, why you ain't call me? Oh, why you ain't do this? Why you ain't do that? Be with someone who has some of those qualities that you're looking for. Know yourself. Know yourself. You might like a lot of physical attention. You like might like the guy who always going to put his hand on your thigh when you're out. Or is he going to hold your hand? Or is he going to... You might really need a man that's going to listen to you. You have to... Or a woman that's going to listen to you. You have to look for that. You can't want a woman that's going to sit down and really listen to you and you want her to work with you on some stuff, but you got some chicken head who's just like, uh, what, what, what's going on? Like, And then you wondering why you always fighting with her. Like... Date what you need. You know what I'm saying? Get in a relationship with what you need. That's important. Not what you want. Not what you want. And if you're talking to somebody right now, and you always wondering like, hey, why ain't do this or why she ain't do that? Drop them and find some and get and get with the next next. Okay. Um, also, in relationships, there's a lot of things that you already have to get to know one another and build a bond with one another. But then when you start blending families, blending children, you need to know, does this individual um, uh, believes in the same discipline methods that I do? Is this person gonna be there for my child when my child come home from school and he's getting bullied or has an issue at school? Will the person I'm with be able to give my child the things I would want them to give. It's so many things you have to look at. We, you know, talk to people because they're cute and they're sexy and we forget about all these other things that really matter. And when y'all get in that house together, that shit turn crazy. <laughs> okay, so um, it's a lot. Like, do, do your girl clean up the way you want her to. Do she cook some of the things you want her to cook? Is that a requirement? Are you a man that really wants your woman to cook every day? Or, not every day, but you really like home-cooked meals? Like, all of those things matter because then when you decide to just, like, move in with a shorty and then you start saying, damn, she don't do this, she don't do that, I'm irritated. 
there's so many different things you have to try to check out. Um, and on both sides, let me say this, on both mm -hmm. sides, show who you really are. Yeah. Don't wait. You get that, don't wait. I'm what just, I am the type of person that you want to get what you see. This is true. I ain't gonna play no games with you. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, so do that in the beginning, like first, second date. You know, do you know, like, ladies, we and keep it, we and keep break it, it cute. Down, and break it down. Break it yeah. down. Yeah, break it down. If you got some shit going on, break it down. Because the right person is going to want to work with you on some things. They mm -hmm. really love you that much anyway. Break it down. They if you got, right, if you got a bad trust issue, say that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that doesn't mean every person's not going to run away from a challenge or a hurdle. Because in every relationship, you're going to have a hurdle. None of us is perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, most of us got baggage. You know what I'm saying? It took me. It took me years to let go a lot of baggage. Some of it, I'm still letting go. Okay. Um, so yes, be upfront about who you are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ladies, we we keep it cute, and then boom, one day they get an attitude they never saw before. <laughs> they have a flashback. Mm -hmm. You know, have to drop a comment if you have flashbacks, lady. Yeah, that's what makes a person be like. Because sometimes a person you with can do something that give you a flashback. Woo! So, um, let me see what else we want to say, y'all. We're going to wrap this up in a minute. Drop comments below. Tell us how you feel. Mm -hmm. um, none of us is perfect. I, I want to say, also, I feel like this video is going to be a little long tonight because I want to give y'all a lot. I want to say, um, for my young girls, uh, Young women. Young women. Young ladies. Require more for yourself. You know, if you want something serious, you know, bring that bar up. If you want to run around for a while, that's cool too. Be safe. Uh, you know, keep it, keep it, keep it as tight as you can. But if you want something, don't settle, ladies. Like, you know, I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I was younger, I realize now when I was younger. I, my mindset was nobody's going to like dog me. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that I was green. And I might have been a little bit or maybe a little naive. You might have been. But I thought way. because I had all my shit together at a young age and I was beautiful, I'm like, ain't nobody going to do me like that, like a statistic. You know what I'm saying? Not in the forefront. That's probably what my the back of my mind was thinking, right? So when I got with someone... Um, that it ended up that they wasn't rocking with me, it took me for a real bad loop because I wasn't expecting it. But I also realized as I got older, I didn't put those requirements out there. I just assumed, oh, we gonna be straight. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be good. No, like don't assume. Be very clear on what you want. Um, because one thing us women do, one thing that we do guys, Women, the way that our hearts work, we always looking for a connection with somebody, right? We could talk to a guy, soon as he tell us a little sob story, we think, you know, he trusts me. So as soon as they give you a little something about them, you bring that wall down 80%, right? And you automatically think, well, I'm there for them. He can confide in me. This is going to go somewhere. When nah, he in his mind, that was nothing or whatever. Either it was game. Or he not even taking it that serious like you are. So then when you start assuming like this going somewhere, we got a connection, we got a connection, still not getting the clarification from him, you setting yourself up to be very disappointed when he just do a 380 on you, like 360 on you, like, oh, nah, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So um, we have to stop being so vulnerable and press for a connection, connections with the wrong people. Um, anything else, boo, you want to say? That goes for both sides, what she said. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm the mediator. <laughs> you could talk for the guys, boo. Yeah, for a guy. Some, look, some of these good look, guys look, out let here. Let me tell you two things. Two things. Guys are very simple. We don't require much. We just want sanity. Sanity. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. 
Okay, so y'all, <laughs> so and so, he let me do all the talking now, but um, so yes, you guys drop a comment, let us know what you think about this. Uh, people that still out here single and dating, know what you want and and go for it, and don't settle. You know what I'm saying? If you date, talking to a guy and he giving you the run around, run around, you talking to a girl and she seemed like she she hid it everywhere. But also, don't go with what you see. Mm-hmm. Go with what they do. Because certain things might be an illusion. Yeah. Go with what they do. You know when you when you get that right feeling. Um, but I, it's tough out here because there's a lot going on out here. Um, Everything is an illusion nowadays. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like I had so much more to say, but maybe we'll talk about this another time after we get some comments or whatever. Get some feedback. Get some feedback from y'all. How y'all feel about that. You have, uh, you know, I commend the brothers out here, though, who are like, look, I'm a bachelor. I want to be a bachelor. This is what I do. You know this is what I do. And a female who like, nah, you ain't tying me down right now. If you've been that honest, that's great. You know what I'm saying? Um, keep doing that. Um, and also us women, if you have little girls, you have children, then you have to be a role model to them. Don't show your child, don't show your little girls that you let a man walk over you, that you settle for anything, that you don't require him to do anything. Right. Don't do that, okay? Because you want her to be tougher and stronger and better than what you were. Hey, yeah. My daughter, I want my daughter to be a beast. My daughter will be on it. Also, I want my daughter to find game yeah. before you could even. And also, if you're single... <laughs> Let me say this to all the couples out there. If a person is single, there's no rules to being single. That's what y'all don't understand. There's no rules to being single. So please stop judging these single people out here. Oh yeah, single people, single, do what they want. They be, just be honest, the be single want. and honest, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there's no rules to that shit. Mm -hmm. So, so all right, we're gonna wrap this up for the night. We're going to do some acknowledgments. I want to acknowledge a few people. I'm just going to do three a night. Tonight I'm going to do six because the three I was supposed to do the other night, I didn't give the correct pages. So mm -hmm. first, um, if you're in Maryland and you want to get your nails super fly, please on Instagram go to Nailed by Nita. Mm -hmm. Nailed by Nita. Okay. Next, if you need to get your eyebrows done, threaded, uh, dyed, uh, your nails done as well at the same time mm -hmm. your body reshaped uh, for cellulite uh, your JJ cleaned out uh, all types of things makeup done um, she is in Virginia 3D brow boss 3D brow boss and the 3 is the number um, if you need your hair done and you're in Maryland she's underscore vintage underscore styles if you need a new barber, because your barber is whack, please at Chase Cuts. Cuts has a Z at the end, okay? At um, Chase Cuts. At Chase Cuts. He's at like Ebony that. Barbers. Okay. Black owned. And then uh, another girl that's in Maryland that does hair, and also she's in VA, at Yolanda Giles, Y U L A N D A G I L E S on instagram and we will have these posted in our comments tonight um what else we got okay and the last thing is in maryland if you are about to buy a house if you're ready and to buy ready and want to buy yes and you're ready to sell a house then please go on instagram at close cl i'm sorry close with cooksey and that's S E Y. Close with Cooksey. Okay. And she is the bomb house finder. Boom. Okay. Um, <laughs> all of these will be in the descriptions tonight. Um, oh, I have one more. I'm sorry. I have one more. If you are a woman and you want to laugh or you're looking for some direction and being an entrepreneur or starting any products or you just need some motivation lately, mm -hmm. please follow at big sexy official he is hilarious he is a trendsetter he is uh big and sexy a spirit lifter okay <laughs> so please go to his page i love him um and that's it for tonight guys love you much see you tomorrow after work after work ap